Hey guys, welcome to Pete's RV TV today. Very exciting day at the dealership. We're bringing in the Heartland product. This is the Sundance by Heartland. For many years, Pete's RV has been the leader with the Keystone product. and We've been Keystone exclusive for a real long time. We've now added the Heartland product. They've come to us over the years. We finally decided, hey, you know what? Let's make the jump and let's put Heartland on the map. Pete's RV Center has taken on the Sundance product here in the travel trailer. How it fits into this, I guess I could say into the lineup is Sundance is Heartland's high-end travel trailer. We compare it to the Keystone product with the Outback, with that Cougar x Lite, that same aluminum constructed trailer with high-end features on the inside. We're going to walk through the inside and outside of this with my buddy Randy, and we're going to see why this Heartland product is cutting edge and might be the right trailer for you and your family. Hey guys, first I want to start off, this is Randy Murray, a lot of you may know him. Uh, me and Randy have done many, many videos together out there. Um, the Sundance product, how does this fit into the, the whole gamut of, you know, what type of RV am I looking for? Am I looking for an ultralight? Am I looking for a, a high-end travel trailer that's lightweight? Are we medium weight here? Randy, tell us, how, how is this Sundance constructed to begin with? Let's start with that. I'm really excited about the Sundance product, Chad, and I'll tell you why. There's a lot of product out there that is not constructed very well when we talk about it in our videos. That's not the case here. This is a very well constructed unit. Uh, uh, they've done things right. Um, they definitely, and you can see it as we're just kind of standing in here, you can see that it's got high quality cabinetry. Uh, it's got the high gloss on the outside. So just the, for me walking around and looking at different build things, of course I come from the service end of things, so I key in on different aspects of units than maybe you do or the general consumer. I like the way this is built. I would own one of these. I really like the way they put it together. They did it with quality. We're aluminum studded through the outside. Absolutely right. Um, the first thing I noticed in here is the radius roof. I mean, that's becoming more and more popular trailers. People don't realize how, the benefit of it. And again, coming from the service end of the business, there's a great benefit to it. Um, other than giving us more headroom inside the trailer for the guys that are taller than I am, of course. But we don't have water sitting up there against our seals, and I know we've talked about that on many other product lines, but it's absolutely true. Water's the biggest killer of campers, and if we can keep water away from our seals, we're gonna add more longevity to that camper. It's gonna be worth more when we go to trade it in. So I'd really like to see that, and that's what it does to the outside of this camper to me. I mean, I look up here, I can just, not, it's, not that I'm tall, but. This is basketball player stuff. This is fifth yeah. wheel height. <laughs> but uh, yeah, exactly right. But with that extended ceiling, we're going to get bigger cabinets here. You know, we can do this Absolutely. nice etching. This puck lighting in here makes it really nice. Sharp. We got a flat screen TV. Um, I say just off the top of my tongue, stuff we can see from the videos is the nice quality of the of the uh, the wood here and the all the doors. The woodwork in the sky, mortise and tenon and joints, which we've talked about before. They're using Euro hinges here. It might be hard to see in the video, but a nice clean look. Uh, that's the stuff you're going to see in high end houses for when they're doing their cabinetry. Yeah. Things are back screwed. It's got a glaze on it, so nice and easy to keep clean. The fit and finish right from the manufacturer is something else I key into because with good fit and finish, we know those guys are taking time when they're putting that build together. They're not just slapping something together and uh, getting it out the door so I'm seeing great fit and finish in this guy which is really important to me. For talk about those those cabinetry for people I don't know there's two ways to make cabinets we can miter cut it where we cut it on a 45 degree angle and just staple it. Here these cabinets right here what they actually do is they're actually grooved and this piece has a little insert and it it's almost, a puzzle. It's a more. It's called the Morris and Tenon joint. So it gives yeah. us a lot bigger glue surface, and we're whole, we're using a lot more surface to hold those cabinets together, which is going to go to durability and longevity. And the same thing we say we're back screwing these cabinets here. You put your hand behind here, you can the steel. styles are screwed together rather than pinched together or nailed together with a brad nail. Again. It's going to go to the longevity and the durability of this guy. I love to see that, and that can make or break a camper. Tell me a little bit more um, on this trailer here. We're looking at solid surface countertops. Metal faucet, sink covers, undermount stainless on this guy. Again, very residential and stuff we're seeing in the new homes they're building today, so I love to see it in this product line. Um, gives us a huge countertop space. Everybody is always, you know, I need more countertop, I need more countertop space. Having that there, even though you know we're, we still have the sink there, but that that solid surface countertop allows us. We to may that. be cooking outside or running water outside, so we don't need the sink at our food preparation time. So having this set up here is a great way to do it. And the reason why we can do this is because of this great super slide we've got on the opposite side of you, which really opens up this floor plan. And I like yeah. to see it in the sky. It goes all the way over here. You can see the super slide on this. Uh, Cabinets here we talked about, you know, those Euro hinges where they're hidden. Um, we have the struts that hold the doors open. Yep, you're not holding them up with your head or whatever when you're getting in there. <laughs> large windows too, yeah. you know, large windows are something that you don't see in every product line and we're seeing it in this product. So that was very important to them with the natural light cross ventilation depending on how you're using the camper and I like to see it in this as well. That's something that really uh, piques my interest and I, I like to see it here. So would you call this an ultralight product? I mean, it's more of a, a standard, I mean, we're not cutting any of the features out of this. We're not building it being weight cut. 
conscious and This mind. one is not so much a weight conscious unit, but uh, as you know, up here in the Northeast, uh, most everybody's got a pickup truck and most everybody has a pickup truck and they can tow something. So if you fall in that bracket of most of the guys that I know and hang out with, this is not a camper that we'd, we'd be worried about towing about. It's not 20,000 pounds. This guy comes in around 8,000 pounds, which for the size of this unit isn't a bad weight. And with the bigger trucks that are on the road and the half tons towing a lot more than what they have in the past years, you know, this is definitely a viable contender and we're not skimping any quality of the build because we're trying to lighten something up. Yeah, first thing I s we get a lot of people too asking, you know, we want something with a hard door to the bedroom for privacy. Um, this is one of the floor see plans. On those outside kitchen floor plans, you usually don't see that, so I really appreciate that. It's also got the hard door to the rear bunk room as well, and if the kids go to bed a little bit earlier, or if you're like me and I go to bed a little earlier, it's nice having that door so I can get some privacy. This is the same floor plan as the Sprinter 311, which is the number one selling trio at our dealership, hands down. And we sell more Sprinter product than anyone, hands down. Right? And this is probably the biggest. Con not concerned, but people First thing like. people mention, yep, yeah. that, oh, I wish it had the sliding glass door, or the sliding mm. bedroom door, and we've got it on this guy, so I'd love to see it here. TV flops around, sure so does. you can watch it from the bedroom here. We've got a DVD player, you can't see it from the video with uh, Bluetooth. Bluetooth, <laughs> yep. Nice, nice. Um, I was looking quickly up here. We've got surrounds down through the ceiling. Um, we've got some other vents up there as well. Speakers all the way through. Our air conditioner is completely ducted through. So even with those doors closed, we're still getting the air conditioning and the heat into the other rooms with the doors closed. So that's very important to me as well, especially as we try to use these a little bit longer and longer throughout the season. If we can be out there in May, I know up here in the Northeast is when they open in October. Mm -hmm. We might get a couple cold days in there. So very important with those doors closed to you know, have that going throughout the whole unit. I see here the crown molding, the finish molding. Doesn't that just look very residential? It's just, did it have to be done? Absolutely not. But it just one more step makes sets this guy aside from the other stuff. Eight cubic foot refrigerator, the way this one's been ordered. Yep. I love to see that here. We've got the roller bearing on all the slide drawers. These are on metal roller bearing sliders, so it just rolls in and out very nicely. Um, we don't have to lift up to open the drawer on it as well here. I don't know if you can catch it from the video. This has got a pretty cool flooring in it too. Um, you know, it, it, it looks like it's real wood. I mean, it looks like it's rustic wood, but it's actually a vinyl flooring. It does, and that's very popular in the industry this year. And I, I like the vinyl flooring because it's very easy to keep clean. You know, you don't have to wax it in the camper like we did in our houses in the old days. Um, linoleum through the high traffic pattern, so very easy to keep clean, especially in a bunkhouse. Mm -hmm. You know, just get the broom out and sweep it a little swifter, and very nicely done. Yeah, we've got a residential style sofa in this. This makes into a nice bed as well. Absolutely. Um, it's a very similar bed to the one we have up front here. So if you've got that guests that are adults and, you know, sleep together or something like that. We've got a big U-shaped sofa or dinette uh, with a portable table in it that can be moved inside, outside to make mm -hmm. more room if we need to, or even a coffee table. You're with me. You were eating takeout on the couch in front of the TV with that guy there. Yeah, we talked about that puck lighting before. It makes it really... Cloth blinds. Again, just something to give it that little extra that you don't see in a lot of the other stuff out there and gives it a nice, warm, residential feel. So cloth blinds, because the alternative would be like a metal Venetians. blind. Yeah. yeah, and we know how those end up. We've seen them on uh, some of the, the less expensive product out there, and they always bend or get dirty or covering dust, covered in dust. We don't see that on these guys so I, I love to see it in here and it just gives it a, a nice warm feel yep um, some other things we can hit upon here we've got a digital thermostat for the air conditioner absolutely and the heat in the heat yep. as well yeah, sure. I, one spot. You know, I keep saying air conditioning yep. here but this definitely poor lays this has an enclosed underbelly on it as well it absolutely does and there's some things we'll take a look at when we go outside that separates this guy from a lot of the other products out there and some things that I was very excited to see too I, I do I kind of been holding this out here there's a, there's a big <laughs> surprise once we get outside on this uh, something that I've never seen on a travel trailer something that really excited us to take on this Sundance trail product or excuse me the Sundance product um, one last thing I do want to point out on this too, a uh, hot water heater. Uh, we're running a gas electric with a rapid recovery hot water heater on this. Absolutely. A lot of people don't know that if we're at our campground and we're plugged into shore power and we need to really get that water heater sped up, you know, a normal recovery time is about a half an hour depending on the water temperature that's going into the hot water heater. Um, we can turn on both the electric and the gas element run them both at the same time. We've got two independent heat sources, two independent thermostats, and one tank of water, so we can really get the hot water cranking on this guy and take some longer showers or more showers. And I'm thinking too, we're not paying for that electrical 99% of the time. Already paid for it. If you're there for the weekend, use it. <laughs> you got it. So we'll take a quick spin on the outside here. I'm going to grab our viewers. I'm going to show them the back bunk room on this. We're, we're in their biggest, tra this is their two slide bunkhouse travel yep. trailer. So I'm going to quickly show them the back bunk room on this because it's got a couple unique things in there we don't see every day. Absolutely. And then we'll catch up on the outside and you can show us some of that cool stuff that's going on. Sounds great. I look forward to it. All righty. In the back bunk room on this Sundance travel trailer, one thing, first thing we're going to notice is this is a three bed set up here. We have the bigger adult size bunk on this side. This holds 300 pounds. Um, it's at a nice area. A lot of them you see are up real, real high. 
this isn't as, you know, I call quote unquote dangerous, it's a little more doable here. We also have all kinds of drawers and these are on those metal sliders again with a real wood finish on it. There's no particle board built into that door. We've got four of them there. We've got another storage area here if you wanted it. It's a place to hang your clothes. The same thing, there's even one more back here. We've got a flat screen TV in this model. This is an option. This is option in with it and you can find out more about what these have for options by contacting us. We move our way over here too. We're gonna to see this has a hide -a bed sofa, so you can pull out, or not a hide-a-bed, a jackknife sofa, so we can move that TV over. We can be sitting on the sofa here, and it's almost like a little mini condo back here. And you can also lift this up if you want a little more headroom, or at night you can put it down, and this does hold 200 pounds, so we can put another adult-style um, sleeping area right here too. Got big windows in the back. I've got the screen pulled down here just for better videoing, but we've also got all these vents in the ceiling. This has all kinds of air conditioning vents in it and all kinds of heating vents in it. So when we look at that higher quality things, that's some things you're gonna see built into these. So let's quickly jump out. We'll catch up with Randy on the outside and uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be real exciting.